Welcome back everyone. It's now time to test your new skills with a set of exercises. In this lecture, we'll get a quick overview of the exercise questions, and in the next lecture, we'll go over the solutions. Let's go ahead and go over the questions. So underneath the PyTorch Bootcamp folder that you've unzipped, underneath 01 PyTorch Basics, you should see at the end two notebook files, PyTorch Basics Exercise, and then its corresponding solutions notebook. Let's go ahead and open up the exercise notebook and then just go through it in case you have any questions. So as an important note here, make sure you don't run the cells directly above the example output shown. Otherwise you end up writing over the example output. So what I mean by that is you'll later on see that a couple of questions have the actual answer here that is the expected answer. It's up to you to write the code that actually gets that answer. You'll note that there's two cells, one for you to code in and don't write in this cell and run it. Otherwise you delete the sample output. Okay, so first we want you to perform some standard imports like importing torch and numpy. Set the random seed for numpy and pytorch both to 42. That way you get the same random results I do. Keep in mind, if you keep running cells over and over again, then you get a different set of random numbers every time. So we're gonna assume that you only run each cell one time. So if with that in mind, you may slightly uh, get different random numbers if you run stuff more than once. But as long as you understand the basic idea, it's not a big deal if you get different random integers. Okay, then we want you to create a NumPy array called ARR as the variable that contains six random integers between zero inclusive and five exclusive. Create a tensor X from the array above. Change that data type of X from integer 32-bit to integer 64-bit. Keep in mind, integer 64-bit is also sometimes called a long tensor. Then, I want you to reshape X into a three by two tensor. Return the right hand column of tensor X. So return it in this format. And we discussed that a little bit during the lectures. And then without changing X, return a tensor of the square values of X. So remember the relationships there. Then we want you to create a tensor Y with the same number of elements as X that can be matrix multiplied with X. And we want you to use PyTorch directly, not NumPy to do this. Then find the matrix product of X and Y. All right, just 10 questions, best of luck, and in the next lecture, we'll go over the solutions.